Uh, we're with Keith Garrett, who is from Rebooting Democracy, yep. uh, on a premise of removing politicians, I think. Keith, could you tell us a little bit about what your views are? So, um, currently we've got a system where we elect a, a set of politicians and they, and they put forward some promises that they may or may enact within their term. Um, this doesn't really work for any of the population, so we're looking at something called Rebooting Democracy, which is a book which I read, which is where the, uh, the idea for the party came from. Mm -hmm. um, in this system, uh, as a country, we decide where we're going using um, various methods, including referenda, mm -hmm. and then we use citizens' panels, which are um, selected like a jury, and these um, these panels go forward and they use evidence to um, they use experts and they have facilitators and they use these to make decisions going forward so we've got a broad spectrum of section of um, people making decisions about the country rather than an elite few who've got a very selective it's a very selective group um, they generally do it on their own they do it according to party lines they've got party ideologies behind them and when you get when, because we've tr they've tried this out before, when you get like you know 24 people, which is a kind of ideal number, mm. um, put them in a room, they talk about something and discuss yeah. it and take all the evidence in. You don't think the idea of having 650 people in a large building in Westminster is a viable way of running the country? No, because they say it's a kind of d a debating culture, but it isn't. Everybody goes into um, Parliament with a set thing. They don't go in and think, oh, I've changed my mind today. They they either know what they're going to go think about. They know what the, how they're going to vote um, when they turn up, or they are whipped according to the party line because they are quite a lot of them are career politicians. So their main reason for doing anything is to stay in the party system. Um, so one one example that isn't is when taught by uh, Zach Goldsmith, who um, he was saying you go down to the when they're going through the um, the division halls so um, to, to vote. He was talking to other MPs there and they're like, no, I don't know what I'm voting on. It's just the whip has mm -hmm. told me to vote on this. Mm -hmm. And uh, Zach Goldsmith obviously never has followed the whip, is never going to follow the get out of the party structure, but you know, at least he's doing that. And the system just doesn't work. You've got this, yeah. Okay, that's great. Thank you. <laughs> okay.